Hey, howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. Uh, no video yesterday um, because of a whole bunch of real life stuff going on. Uh, you know, we had uh, hot water heater uh, broke. You know, that was on that was on Wednesday, but I had to wait till Saturday for it to get fixed because you have to go through insurance. You know, it's it's uh, it's insured, and if you don't use their guy, their their people, it, it voids the uh, warranty on it, you know, and I thought, well, you know, so I call on Wednesday, it's kind of funny, um, you know, the, and the girl says, you know, well, um, the girl, the dispatcher, we can get somebody out there on Saturday, and I say, Saturday, it's, uh, you know, I don't have any hot water, it's Wednesday, and she said, uh, all of our people don't have hot water, <laughs> you know, you gotta wait in line. So, well, man, I could call somebody, an independent guy, you know, and get them out here now, you know, have hot water in an hour. And I thought, well, you know what, I can go three days without hot water. And uh, and so I did. Anyway, so, but but their guy showed up uh, yesterday, you know, got the hot water fixed, and uh, the wind was howling all day, knocked the power out, knocked my power out twice. Uh, you know, we were getting 50 mile and 60 mile an hour gusts of wind uh, blew all day and it's still blowing out there, but it's calmed down. You know, we're getting like uh, maybe 30 mile an hour gusts, you know, and then I had family visit, uh, you know, uh, my son came out here and we got my system hooked up to Ethernet so I don't have to rely on the uh, Wi-Fi, which can be, um, you know, un unstable out here where I'm at. So, uh, yeah, so, so he, uh, you know, he and his wife and, uh, my grandson came out and, uh, and spent, uh, you know, a good part of the afternoon and evening. And the other reason there isn't one is because I was a down, I would have been a downer, man. I was not in the right frame of mind, you know, because of, you know, you know, finding out about Arthur getting TB and, um, and, and other things, you know, I was just. Oh man, I didn't want to. I didn't want to make a video, and I'm, you know, a downer. So what got me out of being a downer? I'll tell you what. I, I'll tell you what is rockabilly, rockabilly music, baby. <laughs> rockabilly music always puts a smile on my face, and uh, yeah, I like rockabilly. And, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you who in particular is uh, Rhythm Sophie, who is a personal friend of mine in real life. Uh, go check out Rhythm Sophie, man. Uh, check out um, her uh, rockabilly rhythm. Uh, she does a she, she does a bang up job on rockabilly rhythm and uh, uh, Finders Keepers is another one that she that is great. Uh, both of those have millions of views. Um, and uh, oh, five one of my favorites of, that she does five, ten, fifteen hours of your love. And um, oh, she does the best cover of Folsom Prison Blues. You know, Johnny Cash song, you know, I hear the train coming, it's coming around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Yeah, uh, she, is, she does the best cover of that by a female singer I've ever heard. Matter of fact, I don't think I've ever, I don't think any other female singer has ever attempted that song. And here's the really cool thing about her. She's from Budapest. Yeah, how cool is that? That's an extra extra level of cool that somebody from Budapest, I think, she, and she lives in Germany right now, um, is singing American rockabilly. Uh, that just adds an extra layer of cool to the whole thing, man. You know, and um, uh, so check out Rhythm Sophie. Tell her I sent you. She, she'll get a kick out of that. And um, I'm going to stop recording right now because I'm just kind of doing this as an audio visual check. I don't know if I'll include it, but I, uh, because of the, the changes that my son made, I want to make sure that the audio and the visual is all synced up and working proper. I'll be right back at you. All right, all systems are go. So let us go and play Arthur upbeat now that you have listened to the very appealing rhythm, Sophie's rockabilly rhythm. And you're upbeat, and I'm upbeat. Let's get our, let's play Arthur upbeat, man. You know, I'm gonna do everything in my power to uh, to to uh, redeem him and and get his honor up, man. Oh man, I blew his honor all that. You know, I I shot all those cows 
uh, in the in that farm uh, because I thought they were um, the the Murfrees. I thought it was the Murfrees uh, cows. You know what it was was the Murfrees were were attacked the ranchers and, and and killing the ranchers and 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 so I went in there. You know I thought they were all um, McMurfreys and uh, I killed them. And then I just thought I was going to punish them by killing all their cows. And Arthur's honor took a major, major hit to the negative, you know. Delete. Oops. Messed that up, man. And that, you know, oh, man, it's being on the other side of the fence and those cows on that side of the fence, man, made me think of a story. I don't know if I've told this. That's a problem with me telling stories, old people telling stories. You can't remember if you already told the story or not, but it was... You know, stop me if I already did. You know, there's a story about the there was a bull in a pasture on the other side of a fence, and uh, me and my sisters were, were picking uh, blackberries, and um, and I got the idea to jump the fence and you know play matador and, and get the bull you know to chase me around you know which terrified my sisters you know they're what are you doing what are you doing well I hopped the fence <laughs> it was a wood uh, split rail fence. You know, probably I don't know, um, five feet, five feet high, four, you know, four and a half, five feet high, and I jumped it, and you know, to get the bull's attention, and I did, man, and he looked at me side eye, you know, he gave me, he's over there, and he, he gives me the side eye, you know, and he's looking at me, you know, and that sucker even had a ring in his nose, and I, <laughs> he starts pawing the ground, you know, and and snorting at me, you know, warning me, and so I egg him on. And uh, he charges, you know, and I dodge him, and you know, and my sisters are freaking out, and on the other side of the fence, and you know, he charges me again, and I dodge him again, and I get over by this big old oak tree. I'm on one side of the oak tree, he's on, you know, and so he can't get to me, you know. And the oak tree was close to the fence, so I bolted from there, and I, I realized this this thing is serious, and I jump over the fence and just missed getting an extra hole punched in my butt. By his horn, by a few inches, <laughs> just missed me by a couple of inches, man. But I made it over the fence without getting the extra holes punched in my body. Yeah, but <laughs> my sisters were terrorized, you know. Anyway, yeah, why did I tell that? What were we talking about? Now, let me pause and get 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 my head back <laughs> back in the game here, man. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh man, I forgot to mention the winners of the uh, uh, the giveaway. You know, for you know if the uh, the, the series I'm doing on A Hunter Call of the Wild got uh, 10,000 views. It's a series about uh, trying to get a great one using only weapons that Arthur Morgan could use, right? So trying to get a great one uh, for Arthur Morgan before he reaches level 60. You know, we started out at level zero. And I said if it got to 10,000 views, uh, we would give away some prizes here. And so I want to announce the winners uh, because it did reach 10,000 views. I'm going to announce it here because I'm... Uh, what what drove that to 10,000 views was this community. I'm going to make the announcement on uh, Hunter Call of the Wild also. Uh, but here, the the winner, the two winners for the free uh, game, to get the game for free, a, you know, a $70 version of the game, is um, Dower Flower, D-O-U-R Flower. And, um, and she's already received her gift. Uh, she uh, contacted me last night, and we got that done. And the other winner of the other for the game is Colty Hun, Colt C O L T I H U uh, N. I need to hear from you. Uh, I, I may have by the time this is made. Uh, the five winners for the five DLCs of your choice are Deku Games D E K U. G A M E Z eight six nine six, and he wants the hunting dog uh, DLC. Uh, Mark Dodge, uh, that's Mark Dodge, just the way spelled, just the way it sounds. Uh, and you need to tell me which DLC you want, Mark Dodge. And A C Marston uh, wanted the lab, and he contacted me last night, and I, and I believe he has his lab. So congratulations, uh, and King Swiney, K-I-N-G-S-W-I-N-E-Y, uh, I'll put all of these in the description here and on the, the Hunter um, video. Um, King Swiney, you need to tell me which DLC you need, and Omar Martinez-Dash, 
um, L G B J W and uh, Omar, you want the uh, Yukon Valley DLC? Uh, so contact me and um, and and thank you all so very much. I really did not think that that. Uh, that that would reach 10,000. I'm happy that it did. And, and, and thank you all because I'm sure it's the, this community that drove that. So um, let's get on. Um, I'm going to take a quick smoke breath. Smoke them if you got them, boys and girls, and then we'll get into, uh, we'll get into Arthur and get him redeemed. I hope. All right, I've got my eyeballs on. Let's get my big head out of here. And let's get I always wonder who I shoot when I do that. <laughs> when the game does that. You know, uh when you get to be in your seventies, you you think about things. That you don't think about when you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, and 60s even. Like, how many summers do I have left? You know? And, uh, you know, do I have 15? You know? 15 more summers? Do I? You know? Can I get in the 80s, into my 80s, you know? Uh, and then this happens, you know, and, and the, the character that you're, that you're playing, you know, that you love, uh, uh, gets on a short timer because tuberculosis in 1899 is a death sentence uh, and you wonder you know I get to wonder you know he's got to be thinking how many summers does he have left you know does he will he even make it to next summer he's got to be thinking you know, hence the title uh, the game put in there uh, of that, uh, the events that happened, you know, a fork in the road. He's at that fork in the road and he started thinking back on the things he's done and things that people important to him have said to him to make him start to realize that there are consequences. Consequences for his actions. And he's wondering, do I have another summer? Let's look at the map. Let's see where we're at. Uh, we were headed towards Sadie when the bad news came, so we will go and do that, and I believe she wanted us to work on a plan to rescue John, so we have to do that, and I have to do everything in my power uh, to get that honor up, um, let me see if I can bring it up on the screen here, there it is, uh, it's barely on the good side. Let's look at that again. All right. So. Cowboy up, old friend. You still got what it takes. Oh, let's take another. Let's take a look at one more thing. I want to look at one more thing. Arthur, old friend. Oh, Lord. Core drain rate for health. Minus 120%. Okay, man. You still got what it takes, old friend. You do. All of his cores drop uh, 20%. Level level two bonding. This is uh, Fantasma, the ghost of Kilabel, aka Sugar, 
because the game wouldn't let me put the other name in there. Okay, so I, right away I start to feel sad. You know, I do. You know, I don't want to. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Hey, partner. Working on that honor. Now we got a feller down here. He's going to want us to skedaddle probably. He's just reading. The last thing I want to do is uh, s something wrong and get wanted and have his honor take a negative hit. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Good morning. I hope you're okay there. Thought you looked kind of unhappy. Oh, the autosave. There we go. All the best to you, friend. Good luck out there. Come on! Yeah, we don't want to follow him. And, of course... Rain. Good job. Well, at least it's warm. It's 74 degrees. Look at this. Now, I wonder, I'm just thinking out loud now, so don't answer this, because, you know, we don't want to, I don't want to kick off any spoiler conversations, but I'm just wondering Excuse me, if the game puts a cure for TB in it. You know, maybe we could like visit the doctor's office. And, um, maybe we should do that. Um, where is it? Um, I was just thinking that. Uh, ooh, we went to the doctor. Now I can't see the doctor. Oh, here it is. It's not far from Sadie. Um, maybe we make a stop here. I mean, you know, look at the streets are empty. What time of day is it? It's morning. I mean, but the streets are empty because it's Sunday morning in real life. And this is Sunday, by the way, in real life. Fine morning, partner. How you doing today? I just don't know. Yeah, I'll keep you in my friend. Hello, sirs. Hey. Yes, sir. Just in case. Morning. Buenos dias, señor. So you getting along okay? Yes. She Good. can't keep a house to keep save on. her life. God. I wouldn't stay for it. I come home and the potatoes aren't even boiled. I tell her I work all day. You can't even boil a potato. You gotta put your foot down. Uh, See, I get home, I check everything. Every room, me. every shelf. Everything. Yeah, and would it be too much to come home to a poor drink once in a blue moon? Oh, so they're up ahead of me. Here! Oh, come on! God, what in God's name? Drink. <laughs> there you go. She dumped now a bottle. Oh, I can't you see her out of her mind. What's wrong with you? Oh, Let's go. Oh, I can't oh, with this. Oh, I think it's my mouth. Oh, oh. Don't worry, oh, it'll wash yeah. off. Like I give a damn. I'm not antagonizing. Hey, friend. Good morning. I ain't antagonizing nobody. Good morning to you. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Don't bump into anybody. 
so hard not to bump into people in this town. <clears throat> it's like they all are trying to commit suicide. We'll check out that question mark in a second. I just want to... Well, maybe we should do the question mark before it disappears. Mr. Morgan. Hello, sister. Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day. I'm hoping we angels? would see you again. Well, how is Brother Dorgans? Oh, he's quite well. A little frustrated with the workings of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge. Maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Uh, never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago... I like that. I was like... I like that. I like that. I like that. Stoic. Stoic. I like that. You. I very much doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things, awful things. And I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but ridiculous. <laughs> exactly. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. <laughs> I'm an outlaw. Oh, <laughs> what fun! Religion. Confession. It's just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. I to like me, this. God is people, and people are God. So we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. Please. All uh, right, you know what, sister? I've got some money on me right now. You can buy some food with this. Oh, you're so wonderful, Mr. Morgan. No, that ain't true. I meant wonderful, but so very frightening. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. That's, that's funny. What are we doing now? Consider your good deed done for the day. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. All right, let me, uh... That's it? Okay. It's not a... Sister Ethel makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Giddy up! Hello, ma'am. Well, anyway, I must okay, focus then. on the work at hand. Morning. Goodbye, then. I have already taken up far too much of your time. Very nice. All right, let's see if by some chance, some miracle... I can't get in. Good day. 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. Well, sir, why aren't you open? Dr. Joseph, I'm at the door. Is there another door? Oh, closed. It says closed. It's Sunday. It is Sunday. Okay. Makes sense. Mind yourself. Oh, shit. And don't let me. Easy, girl. Yeah, the streets are starting to get busy. Let's get. Let's not ride the horse. We'll bump into somebody. Hello. Please make a donation. There are many without food or shelter. Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias. Hey, 
officer. Hello? Watch where you're going. Excuse me. I'm being nice. There's that aim weapon thing that comes up. All right. Um, that last scene with her, that was uh, that was poignant. Um, that was uh, actually really cool that they put that in. Um, Turned over a new leaf. Keep my nose clean and my hands dirty. I've heard. Keep my nose clean and my hands dirty. That's kind of what I was saying on the Q&A to one of the questions. Is the world, what the world needs is I need to pass. more people with dirty fingernails and clean minds. I have too many the other way around. Ah, uh, what did I do? I missed her? Where is she? She's in the saloon? All right, man. I'm going to take a quick break before we jump in here. I know I already had one, but I just feel like taking another one. So smoke them if you got them. I'll be right back. All right, I'm just thinking about that last scene, and it was very poignant. Uh, and, and and there's, but I, I can't let it stand. I, I don't want to get into a theological discussion here, but she has it backwards. Um, it, it doesn't work that way, you know. Um, uh, you know what she was saying. You know, do the good deeds, and your heart will follow. No, it's the other way around. And uh, you know, God says your good deeds are like filthy rags to me. And, you know, uh, the filthy rags, if you, it, it, that's the English translation. The actual translation uh, is um, the filthy rags is a reference to the rags that women used in those days uh, during their menstrual cycle. Yes, that is in the Bible. And uh, uh, God doesn't mince words. And, but I just wanted to say she's, she got it backwards. Um, it's the other way around. So guard your heart, guard your mind. <coughs> Icarus and friends, wait a minute. Any problems coming in? Oh, there she is. Nah. Yeah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Right. Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as if what began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Okay, let's get let's get loaded out first, woman. Um, what are we what are we gonna need here? Uh I don't know. <laughs> let's go repeat her. <laughs> Oh no, he's gonna get in trouble for doing this in bolt action. No, I said bolt action. I said bolt action. Thank you, sir. Easy. Yeah. Hey there! Hi. So, what's your plan here? 
Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. <laughs> I'd like to say that. It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. What? I found us a hot air balloon. Ah! You ain't serious. She should be the leader of the gang, man. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, right. he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. No. <laughs> He's quite the character. Yeah. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. Yeah, yeah, we noticed all of that. We noticed all of that. And I was commenting on that, that uh, last time we saw Swanson, uh, he was sober. Happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. All oh, right, I'm right she with you. Look at that! It is hot air balloon. In Here fact, I ground. can't believe this. Yes. Mr. Bullard? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Bullard. Ah, uh, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. <laughs> you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, <laughs> sir. Are you insane? He tosses it away. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Oh. By a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler. <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you ah. find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. <laughs> Quite certain. Maybe. Oh, this is so good. So good. Oh, so good. So well written. Let's so well learn. acted. Wish us luck. I've only crashed Great twice. Stuff. Now, oh. Pull on that Great rope stuff. And hope for the best. Ah. Uh, you boys have fun. Well, I'm supposed to control this thing. You get out of to, this? To, uh, RT <laughs> okay. shows your current altitude as nothing. it fills. The yellow marker shows the desired. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little over. Oh, I'm, I'm flying this thing. Are you out of your mind? We're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids. Do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. It is high enough. Keep going, sir. No. We need to get up above the clouds. Oh, high enough. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Sound right too, man. All right then, let's break through these clouds. Ah! Oh, my God! Yes, heavenly indeed. We made it this Quite altitude to keep your speed. It? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. We're headed towards the X. I gotta keep my eye on the left and sure, the right at the same time. This. Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, what? Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the right. ropes. We have plenty of those. 
Oh, she no. did, did she? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, man. Do you want to... Am I... Should I be going up? Arthur and Arturo. How perfect is this? <laughs> My mother was a keen student of the Italian Eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. <laughs> Am I supposed to fill, fill up to the, the gray part? Whoa there. No need to go any higher. Thank you. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right. Thank you. <laughs> Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. <laughs> Just say the word. Okay, we're getting a little high now. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? Uh, I didn't exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. Oh. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? <laughs> I did not, Mr. Bullard. Great stuff. The problem is, See that building up ahead I can't enjoy it because I gotta keep looking down at the Sisica Penitentiary. Dang. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Anna. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. But I'm just looking for a friend of mine. Love Arthur, man. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Enjoy the scenery. I gotta keep watching the prompt. Okay, we're cut. Okay, we're in. A, hmm. We're cut scene. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Here, take over. And keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. I can't believe we're doing this. I might be wrong, but it looks like you have the binoculars too high. Well, thanks for the tip. Maybe try looking lower down. Please hurry. What's that down to your right? That ain't John. Okay, he ain't by the barn. This was not the tour I had in mind. Nope, not there. So I'm looking for people. There he is. There he is. There he is. You look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? Wait, is that him? Yeah. Yep, that's him. Why'd they put a gun on him? What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascend! Ascend! I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Did they shoot John? John's down on the ground! Got a hit! The wind speed is picking up! We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. You can get up. Good Lord! 
My heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. What? <laughs> go, Sadie, yes. go! Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I yep. expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey, Sadie! Up here! They're just in town! I can't see them. Shit! Something. I need to get no my dead eye back up now. These goddamn... Um... Oh, Driscoll's! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches! I can't mark him! Ah! Come on, man. Come on! Come on, Mojave! Come on! I can use it. 
Um, can we get, like, um, some dead eye back? Um, can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They yeah. got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. So you saw him? So yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. <laughs> no, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. God, I love yes. her. It's best just the two of us go. <laughs> <laughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Oh, Thank you, Arthur. Oh. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Oh, it was awesome. Smoke him if you got him any break. Why isn't Sadie the leader of the gang? Oh, my gosh, that was awesome. Uh, smoke him if you got him. I'll be right back at you. Man. Oh, man, I like that. I want to do over. I want to do it again. 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 That was good. Oh, man. This game is so good. God, that was good. That was so good. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. Oh, oh, I know I didn't do it great, but, you know, look, I, look, look at this. I probably didn't get diddly squat. I did. Keep the balloon at the correct altitude. Wow, I got two of them. I got silver. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Wow. Complete at least 70% accuracy. Well, you know, that five inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't have a replay. Um, <laughs> I won't. 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 For the purposes of, you know, uh, making a video. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, can we heat? He needs to do something here. How are we looking? Oh, that was too good. Items, uh, we need uh, some help here with Deadeye. Um, moonshine doesn't do it. None of that does it. That all does energy, so this will do it. I have eight of these. Um, it doesn't help the core. And we probably don't need 
the dead eye for a few minutes. Um, I need to help the core um, of dead eye, and I don't see anything over here doing that. How about over here? Uh, core and stamina, core health and stamina. I mean, here we go. This will do a little bit of dead eye. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't do a little bit of dead eye. We're eating the horse's food here. <laughs> that's that, that's good enough for right now, baby. Oh wow. Oh man. <laughs> oh, we can loot. We can loot to our heart's consent. Content. Not that he needs anything. I mean, you know what I mean. He doesn't need anything. Uh, oh, we can eat some of this though. That wouldn't hurt. Correction. You are sick. Why you're sick? Only gain the benefit from consuming a limited amount. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. You yeah. sadistic. Um. So he can't even eat. Sadistic cold riders. I'll be nice. Just joking. Oh, we got a buck forty horse medicine. We'll take that. We'll, we can we'll pick some of this. I mean, he. I mean, can I add this to food or what? I mean, there's a. I mean, I don't know what happens here. Ginseng. I mean, is there more of that? I mean, ginseng's a good thing um, for him when he's hurting like this. Um, health by a camp I, I didn't see what that prompt said something about health by a campfire well, we got a passel of O'Driscoll's to include I mean Might as well. Bitters. Silver belt buckle. We might get something rare that we need for um, um, crafting something. You know, like, a, I think I need some earrings and stuff like that. Another belt buckle. What do they have in their rinky-dink camp over here? Not a lot. Maybe over yonder? Come on. Hey, squirrel. How you doing? I killed people over here? I think Sadie did this. Health cure. Let's check the saddlebags. I'm looking for, like, earrings and... Some other, I can't remember all of it, but there were some, um, I know there's, there's pieces of, uh, jewelry. Who killed all of these? This was Sadie. Sadie did all this, man. There we go. Silver ring. That might be something that I need. Oh, wow. Uh, I love Sadie, man. Sadie needs to be the leader. I'll tell you what. Am I wrong? No, I'm not. Here. I say Arthur and Sadie ride off into the sunset. That's what I say. I got some dynamite? 
two dynamites. There ain't nothing wrong with that. three more over here. I'm going to hit them, man. I'm hitting them all. Platinum pocket watch. I don't know that that's needed for something, but we can at least sell it for 10 bucks, I think. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't need money or anything. I think um, Arthur and Sadie need to ride together all the time. All the time. I can't eat anything. They can pick it and maybe use it for something. Mushrooms. These look like carrots. I'm right. I'm right, the carrots. All right, we'll make camp. Set the clock for morning. Uh, let's take care of Fantasma. Isn't she beautiful? Kaylee Bell. Yeah, she's still only uh, bond at level two, so um, uh, we need to get that up. Uh, good girl. All right, let's make camp in the midst of all this, all these bodies. What can he pick? More mushrooms? And, uh, I don't know what I can use those for. Uh, I'm afraid to feed him. <laughs> He's going, you know, like, it just doesn't do him a whole lot of good. Uh, but let's make camp. Sure. All right. And I she's got she boyfriend with her. Does she have boyfriend oh, with her? Sure. Do appreciate What's your this? boyfriend? You, 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 you won't even know I'm here. What? Oh, I got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, the two days or or more. <laughs> Oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. And I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet, they always turn brown. <laughs> so I glug some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> On a riverbank, shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost real easy. You ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Yep. Our entire village has been marked by the demon stealing our bodies and our minds. And we have all been cursed, and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. I'll take my chances. 
you stay away from me! Can I follow her? No, don't tear down the camp. I was gonna follow her. Can I follow her? Boy, she disappears quick. Oh, there she is. Madam, back here. What? How's things? All the best to you. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I can do is antagonize her. My God, there's some real fine beauties around here. Where are you, Jesus? Come on, lady. Can't you take a joke? I don't know what to do with her. That was interesting. I guess we just let her go. I mean, no, that's not what I told you to do, son. All right, back to this. Okay. I'm just gonna do some crafting. Get some potent bullets here. And um Well I was gonna say I'll stop I'll start recording in the morning, but y'all can take a break. So what? What was she about, man? I mean, I know, I know what she said and all, but I mean, what what could I have done uh, with her there? I don't know. All right, let's um, let's work on the cartridges. Um, split points on the repeater. I can do incendiary buckshot. I don't think we want to do that. Let's just do the, let's just get the, uh, let's get the repeater spl the split points. I think we'll be using the repeater and the uh, bolt action for what's coming in the pistols. Sadie's plan is to uh, get them out in the fields, get them out, you know, get them out, you know, um, spring John. You know, I love the loyalty. I love, I love the loyalty. You know, I mean, somebody gets caught, thrown in jail, even if it's Micah, uh, and they, 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 they come to get them. You know, now, although this is Sadie's doing, this isn't Dutch. Dutch got nothing to do with this. But uh, still that loyalty among, well, some of the gang members, you know, loyalty in the right direction. I don't, sh I don't know that uh, Dutch is loyal to any of them beyond uh, whatever point he can use them, you know. You know what I mean? Uh, let's, I don't think we'll need any of this. Um, I'm afraid to cook for him. I really am. Let's see what happens if he just eats this. Oh, we gotta go easy. I mean, we can, can he drink? He can, should be able to drink coffee. Let's see what this does to him. Okay, once, I think we'll just stay at one. Oh, wait a minute. Um, can I make coffee? Apparently I don't have any coffee. 
sleep tent and um, man this is so good you know I was worried all day yesterday that it was gonna be a bummer and a drag and from now on and it's not it is just absolutely wonderful uh, I mean that, that was just that was a heck of a lot of fun we'll sleep until noon all right man Smoke them if you got them. We'll see you tomorrow noon. Straight up noon. Be right back. All right, let's try some breakfast. And uh, get over to Sadie and uh, have some more fun. I'm having too much fun. Ain't no such thing as too much fun, son. It's like a girl too pretty. There ain't no such thing. Let's see if he can eat. Um... Let's try the minty game. Um, help his health out, or will it bother him to eat? We'll find out. <coughs> now, that's enough, buddy. Um, that's enough. And we can't make coffee. Can't make coffee. Crap. You are sick. Why are you sick? You can only gain a benefit from all right now. Yep. Ghost. No, I was feeding the horse. Damn me. I, 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 I was trying to feed the horse. Trying to feed the horse, not him. over there but you can't make it. The current's too strong. Yeah. Montasma. This is where we took out our revenge. On them for killing. Howdy. Get lost. Killing your predecessor. How do you get lost? Nice guy. Yeah, well, I got two words for you, and they ain't Merry Christmas. Yeah. Uh, smokestack. Maybe we should just head straight for the X and avoid any other problems. I don't know. I have not been there. Let's check her out. John ain't going anywhere. We have a 
blocked door. Have I been here? Not sure. Like I might have been here. Either I ain't showing anything. Oh, do I want to go down here? Well, what's this? What kind of weapon does he have? I don't see anything on the radar. Fifty dollars that we don't need. But we got it. You know, we got it. I don't know why I'm taking all this. He can't eat. Coffee. Good. Thank you for that. If coffee works. Right? I mean, he, he should be able to drink coffee. You know... Apparently that's it. Well, that was interesting. Good idea for him to be smoking. Just uh, down to where we were in the basement, huh? This was uh, this was a nice uh, nice house once upon a time. Yeah, I think we're done here. All right. son good uh, amazingly good um, bitters 
stamina. I got a bunch of it. It won't hurt, right? Did he not take the bitters? What did he do? He didn't take the bitters. It shifted over. There we go. Girl. John, we're coming. We're coming. There's that semi ominous music playing. Can you hear it? It's kind of low. It stopped. Is she down there? She sure is. Yeah, you're all right, girl. There, girl. We got a snake behind us, probably that red dot. Who's with her? Thing is, Sadie, I really can't. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Tell her what. She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Gosh, he's so good. Well, why well, ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Woohoo! Thank you! Thank you both! You're welcome. Alright, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. I love Sadie. Why isn't she in charge? Sadie in charge. That's what we need. Okay, bring us over. Yes, ma'am. We good? Uh, Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Okay. I will. Taking time to clean a rifle in the middle of this. Well, you know. Alright. 
you got, Sadie? What are we supposed to do? Are we in a cutscene? Am I supposed to be doing something? Right there. There he is. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. How do I take them out? Eliminate the guards. Um. I, 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 from here? Um. Take the shot, Arthur. Let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Yeah, I hear the sirens too. You hear the sirens? Come on, get down, boy. It's not that difficult. Um. What are you doing back there? I'm trying to find you. John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't you think put so. the gun down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> These two need to work together every time. Where's John Every Marsden? time. Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try we'll go and get, get him together. Off. You clear on that? <laughs> Very clear. Hold on a second. Um. Oh, no, you don't. Get him, Sadie. Get him, Sadie. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Atta girl. Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? <laughs> Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. You know what I'm doing. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Oh, this is too good. Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston. Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Get him, get him, Sadie. Uh, he's been quite an exacting <laughs> boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're, they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Oh, man. Why, why? So, you a popular employee, time? my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find, find out. out. Yeah. Let's see how how much they value you. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Okay. Don't shoot! They've got cannon. Down. What a girl. Call him out. Okay, friend. Call him out. We Just want we want John. Put the weapons down now. Get him out of here. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside today. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, 
Hey, look, Kim. Hey. Hey, yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of we're course, at, sir. We're at 15. From one or four? It's not very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. <laughs> 11? 17. 12? <laughs> okay, that's just... That's... <laughs> we must be at 11 by now. Uh, I just love this. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> He's crying. Hurry up. <laughs> well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. <laughs> Hurry up and break that out. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Here, you bastards. Come on. Let's go! 
got me covered. Take three or take four? This is take four. The net. Oh my goodness. I never should have picked that. Never should have picked that up. <sighs> never. You know, if we restart the mission, I can go back and not pick up that bolt action and uh, have my repeater. Uh, let's try that. Let's, let's restart the mission. And not pick up that stupid bolt action because I already have one and I need. Insist all you like ain't happening. Arthur Teller. Teller what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. coming. That's no. the end of the matter. There See, you there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Now tell me I've got my repeater. Why ain't the crime sore? But I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Shotgun. Thank you. Been okay too. Thank you both. Shotgun would have been okay too, but I should have my repeater. Right? Can I look? Repeater. Bolt action. All right, and we will not, under any circumstances. Um, I need the dead. I need the dead eye to get um, yellowed up. Here goes nothing. The place is surrounded Pick up by that Marshall. bolt action. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. 
How many times, Marston? How many times, Marston? <sighs> All right. Not gonna pick that. <clears throat> okay, bring us over. Up. <gasps> we good? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Guards were still moving. Down. Why do I have trouble with this? Will you hurry up? <laughs> yes. Get moving, Arthur. Come on. Girl, don't give me a hard hour. Arthur, let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't, he ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. After you. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go uh, and get him together. Uh, uh, Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice Point. fella? Uh... He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... They're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. <sighs> oh, my God. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Right. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. 
You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Nice. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. No. Uh, Milliken, <laughs> is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for sir. me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15. Six, six, seven, I hear you. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. No for what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey. John, hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Right, cover! Take my pistol! Let's clear these and make a run for it! Let's move! Okay, let's go! Ah, you got trouble 
John? You're telling me! What took you so long? Uh Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. Take my pistol. Let's clear the. Then make a run for it. Oh, fire! I'm gonna end you. Stop, bitch! Come on! I put my guns on! Dang it! Don't die! 
Don't die! Damn it! Fellas coming here don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax. I don't know about that. Yourself. John, leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. 
Keep them off us! Thank God. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told Dan. <laughs> she told uh, us. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. You think? So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Rono Grids and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. Yeah. So much for no man left behind. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or... Don't make excuses Maybe he for him. just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. <laughs> Guess not. Man. Whew. Ah, doggies, that was hard. Talk about having a hard hour. Man. They gave me a hard hour. Okay, now we gotta deal with Dutch and Micah. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. I love her. John! What are you doing here? Shut your ch- Good to see you too, Archie. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But That's I right. said that. Yeah, I know what you said. And I went anyway. I felt different. Is that so yeah yes and when spring and john you see micah's head back there behind him like he's just whispering in his ear you know poisoning him you know pissing in his brain brings the law down on all of us what then arthur well i guess we'll have another fight on our hands stand up Lord, to him, arthur. arthur it ain't I had a goddamn plan! Don't John. God. John. You are my brother. Oh, shut up. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. Oh, and now yes, they yes, may yes, come problem. and hang us all.
white tail again. Man, a lie. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Arthur. Arthur. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. <sighs> Guess what? Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, that's it, folks. Um, <laughs> Things are going to be okay, Jack. Can I go play in the caves? No. I I'm ain't going to say me. no. What's the exclamation point all about? I'm going I'm to end the video, though. I'm, I'm done. I mean, I am done. Hello, Arthur. Hey, Chili. found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. Silver it's the least necklace. I can do. Alright, that's it. Um, I don't even know where my tent is here. Oh, it's where the uh, the triangle is. The Like the teepee. It's right here. This is my tent. We're done, folks. I mean, I'm done. <laughs> uh, that was... Uh, okay, so... Um, had a lot of fun. Uh, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate everything. I do appreciate every one of you. And, you um, look so good. I got a lot of thinking to do and uh, digesting, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care. Take care of yourself now.